Not everyone sees eye to eye on things. Some may even be jealous that Harry got away from that life. This week, there was a damning report about deceptive practices by the BBC used to land an interview with the late Princess Diana. On this topic, both Harry and William are of one mind. Lord John Anthony Dyson has been conducting an investigation. He was looking into whether BBC reporter Martin Bashir engaged in deceptive tactics with Diana's brother, Charles Spencer. The goal would have been to get introduced to the princess and, ultimately, to land an interview with her. The famous interview, for Panorama in November of 1995, was a turning point. Diana at the time said that there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. The following year, she and Charles were divorced. In 1997, Princess Diana tragically died. Prince William responded to Lord Dyson's report with a statement on Thursday, May 20. He condemned the deceitful way the interview was obtained. William also spoken in strong defense of his dearly departed mother. I would like to thank Lord Dyson and his team for the report, Prince William credited. It is welcome that the BBC accepts Lord Dyson's findings in full which are extremely concerning, he suggested. William noted that BBC employees lied and used fake documents to obtain the interview with my mother. William described how BBC employees made lurid and false claims about the royal family. These were claims which played on her fears and fuel paranoia. BBC employees, she said, displayed woeful incompetence when investigating complaints and concern about the program. And, William noted, they were evasive in their reporting to the media and covered up what they knew from their internal investigation. It is my view that the deceitful way the interview was obtained substantially influenced what my mother said. He lamented. William added the interview was a major contribution to making my parents' relationship worse and has since hurt countless others. It brings indescribable sadness to know that the BBC's failures contributed significantly, William expressed. He said that it added to her fear, paranoia, and isolation that I remember from those final years with her. But what saddens me most is that if the BBC had properly investigated the complaints and concerns first raised in 1995, inches William began. He then said that my mother would have known that she had been deceived. She was failed not just by a rogue reporter, he asserted. But, William continued, by leaders at the BBC who looked the other way rather than asking the tough questions. It is my firm view that this panorama program holds no legitimacy and should never be aired again, William announced. It effectively established a false narrative, he accused. A narrative which, for over a quarter of a century, has been commercialized by the BBC and others. This settled narrative now needs to be addressed by the BBC, Willem suggested. And, he added, anyone else who has written or intends to write about these events. In an era of fake news, public service broadcasting and a free press have never been more important, William expressed. These failings, identified by investigative journalists, not only let my mother down and my family down, William stated. He lamented they let the public down too, and he is clearly not the only one with strong feelings about Lord Dyson's report. Our mother was an incredible woman who dedicated her life to service, Prince Harry acknowledged. She was resilient, brave, and unquestionably honest. He accurately praised his late mother. Harry noted the ripple effect of a culture of exploitation and unethical practices ultimately took her life. To those who have taken some form of accountability, thank you for owning it, Prince Harry graciously expressed. He acknowledged that is the first step towards justice and truth. Yet what deeply concerns me is that practices like these and even worse are still widespread today, he pointed out. Then, and now, it's bigger than one outlet, one network, or one publication, Harry explained. Our mother lost her life because of this, and nothing has changed, he lamented. Harry then stated by protecting her legacy, we protect everyone and uphold the dignity with which she lived her life. Let's remember who she was and what she stood for, Prince Harry suggested. These two brothers gave speeches that struck very different tones, while still conveying similar messages. Their mother was an extraordinary woman, and they both remain deeply affected by her death.